October 21st, 2020, Fluency. Number one, select all of the expressions that are equal to the product of 11 and 2 tenths and 15 hundredths. All right, so this 15 hundredths, there is a decimal point in um, right before that 15, um, so it's 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths. Um, so the first thing that we should do is, well, let's figure out what the product of 11 and 2 tenths and 15 hundredths is. So I'm going to do 11 and 2 tenths and then 15 hundredths. So when you're multiplying decimals, do you have to line them up? No, you don't. Um, so we're going to align them to the right. Um, so 0 and 15. Do, do, do. All right. So now we can start by multiplying. Well, can we... Oh, I'm going to move that over a little bit. There you go. Can we do 5 times 2? Yes, we can. 5 times 2 is 10. I'm going to carry that 1 and drop that 0. 5 times 1 is going to be 5, plus 1 is 6. 5 times 1 is going to be 5. Now, we're done with this um, 1 up here, so I'm going to delete that. We are also done with this 5, so I'm going to cross that out. Since we are moving over to the next place value, I'm going to put a placeholder of 0 down here. Now, we have 1 times 2. That's going to be 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 again is 1. Is that going to go over? How? Ah. All right, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let me move these. Here we go. Let's move these guys down here. Whoop. Not all those. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, perfect. All right, so that 1 times 1, that final one is 1. Now what do we do with these numbers? We're going to add them. Add them up. Add them up. So we now have do, 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 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 2 is 8, 5 plus 1 is 6, um, 1 plus 0 is 1. So is my answer 1,680? No. What did we not do? The decimal. So when we look at the decimal up here, we're going to move it in. Um, so if you start from the right, you move it in one time, and then down here, you're going to move it in a two and a three. So three times total, we're going to move it over. So we are going to move this over one, two, three. So we're going to swoop that decimal to the left, starting in the right on the right. We're going to swoop it over three times. So our answer to this product, I'm going to insert a text box. Um, the answer to this product is 1 and 680 um, thousandths. So I'm just going to put that in kind of, I'll put that in a purpley color so that we know that's what the product is. So that's what we're trying to get and find here. All right, so is that the same as the product of 3 and 4 tenths and 12 hundredths? Let's find out. Um, okay, so 3 and 4 tenths. I'm going to kind of edit this problem. So we'll have 3 and 4 tenths. Do, do, do. And then multiply that because product means the answer to a multiplication problem. Um, 0 and 12 tenths. So I'm going to kind of delete those two. Do, do, do. All right, now I'm going to be able to remove that part, remove that part. All right, so 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. Now we're done with that 2, so we're going to move over a place value. So I need to put a placeholder of 0. Now 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. Now we're going to add um, 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 4 is going to be 10, so I'm going to carry that 1, drop that 0. And then 3 plus 1 is 4. Now the decimal point. Let's see how many times we need to swoop it. So total, we swoop in 1, 
And let's move down here in two, in three. So we're gonna swoop in one, two, three. So our answer there is going to be zero and 408 thousandths. So is A correct? No, that does not match that. So I'm gonna put that in red. All right, so now I'm actually going to do, 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 delete all that. Ah, minus my face or my little eye there. I like that eye. Um, there we go. <laughs> um, now we're going to see if this answer is the same as the difference between 18 and 59 hundredths and 16 and 91 hundredths. So the difference is subtraction, the answer to a subtraction problem. So if we have 18, 1, 8, and 59 hundredths. Now when we're adding or subtracting decimals, we do need to line up the decimals, only when we're adding and subtracting. So let's line up, up the decimals, um, 16 and 91 hundredths. So we have 1, 6 and 91 hundredths. Doo, doo, doo. All right, now we are going to do the find, ooh, find the difference. Um, the difference means we are subtracting. So we're going to have 9 minus 1, which is going to give us 8. 5 minus 9, we can't do that. So we need to borrow from that 8 to make that 8 um, a 7. To make this 5 a 15. Do, do, do. Um, I'm going to put 15 up here. There we go. All right, so now we have 15 minus 9 is going to be six. Um, drop that decimal, drop it, drop it low. Seven minus six is one. One minus one is zero. Now, is one and 68 hundredths the same as one and 68 thousandths, or and 680 thousandths? Yes, because anytime after the decimal, um, you can also put a placeholder zero. You can put as many placeholder zeros as you want here. Um, that will definitely work and it will be the same. So B is going to be one of our answers. Now, it says select all, so we need to figure out if there's any more. I'm not sure. Um, while we do have this difference kind of going on, let's do the difference between these two numbers. Let's check D first. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, so <clears throat> the difference of... 45 and 67 hundredths, and then um, 42, ah, well, I'll keep that up there, um, 42 and 99 hundredths, do, 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 99, um, 42 down here, 4 and a 2, um, so then at top, top, it's 45, and 67 hundredths. All right, can we do seven minus nine? No. So we need to borrow from that six. That six becomes a five. To make that seven a 17. Now, 17 minus nine is going to be eight. 17 minus 9, ooh, that looks pretty good together, <laughs> is going to be 8, so I'm going to put that 8 down there. 5 minus 9, we can't do that, so we need to borrow. Ah. Um, so that 5 is going to become a 4 to make this 5 a 15, so I'm going to put that 1 in front of it there to make that a 15. Now we have 15 minus 9, which is going to be 6. Drop that decimal if we're adding or subtracting. So we're subtracting, so we're gonna drop it, drop it low. Drop it like it's hot. Four minus two is going to be two. Um, so then four minus four is gonna be zero. So two and 68 hundredths. No, this is one and 68 hundredths, or one and 680 thousandths. So it's not gonna be D. So I'm gonna make that in red. Now let's take a look at part C. Or letter C. Letter C. Oh, I should make this green, I guess. <laughs> All right. So C is the last one we have. Um, the sum. That means we're adding of 36 hundredths, 1 and 2, and two tenths, and 0 and 12 hundredths. 
So I'm gonna add some numbers up. Oh, there goes my eye again. I can't delete that. Come on, go back. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna find the sum. Yes, there we go, of these numbers. Now, when we are finding the sum, we are lining up our decimals. So we have that zero and 36 hundredths. Zero and 36 hundredths. Then we have one and two tenths. One and two tenths. You can put a placeholder after that two um, if you would like to, which I will, so that we know there's zero hundredths. Um, and then zero and twelve hundredths. So ah, I need a zero and twelve hundredths. As always, you can do this on paper if you'd like to. I'm just showing it to you on here so that you can see. Um, if you ever need to fast forward or rewind, you can absolutely do that. Um, okay, so zero and twelve hundredths. Do, do, do. All right, so we are adding these. I guess I should move these over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so when we add these, the sum. All right, six plus zero plus two is going to be eight. So six, seven, eight. Three plus two, four, five plus one is six. Drop that decimal, drop it like it's hot, drop it low. Um, and then we have zero plus one plus zero is gonna be one. Whoa, we've got lots of ones. So our answer, one and 68 hundredths, or as well as you can put a zero at the end um, to make it look the same, because after the decimal you can put a zero. You can't put any zeros um, before. All right, so. One in 68 hundredths or one in 680 thousandths? Yes, indeed. So our answer is also going to be C. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. So B and C are our correct answers. Great job.